Be aside from my buddy and I. I make sure I need to make sure that my scene is safe. Is my scene safe? It is. Uh, my mechanism of injury is I have a male throw off his motorcycle while riding. I have one patient. This is my number of patients. Uh, I know I, I do not need uh, additional life support at this time or additional help at this time. But I will bring my C spinal mobilization equipment with me to the scene. I come down for my general impression. I like it. My general impression of the patient is that he's a male in his mid twenties with uh, who seems to be unconscious. Knowing that, I asked my battle buddy to hold C-spine stabilization of the patient and open an airway using the jaw thrust technique at the same time. All right. And then I check my mental status. Hello, hello, hello. Are you there? Can you hear me? But not respond. No response. He's not responding. He's not alert, nor is he responding to verbal, verbal stimulus. So I use painful stimulus and he journals when I do that. So then I go on to my chief complaint or apparent life phase. Can't tell me his chief complaint, so my apparent life threats will be that he might have a possible airway obstruction or, or and or his uh, mental status. I go on and assess his airway, listening and feeling for breathing, and assessing the rate, rhythm, and quality of the respirations. Rapid and shallow. Rapid and shallow. Knowing, uh, knowing this, I go ahead and insert a nasal, or have my ghost medic insert a nasopharyngeal airway and bag, bag BVM the patient at 15 liters per minute um, and then I wait and check the adequacy of the BVM make sure that he is being ventilated properly with equal rise and fall of the chest. And I move on to circulation. I had to assess the pulse, make sure that I have a pulse rate, rhythm and quality of the pulse. Okay, it's rapid and weak. Rapid and weak and I look for color underneath the eyes so that he's not uh, pale. Stand up. Stand up. And move on to condition and temperature to the skin. Cool and clammy. Cool and clammy. And then I begin a blood sweep. Just one time. Next to the patient, 
in place. Head man on your count. We will all go to the patient. One, two, three. I'll check the posterior. Feel free to uh, decap BTLS, decap BTLS. Looking for rectal bleeding or incontinence. Then head man on your count. After sliding along spine board in place. And we all roll the barbell patient back down. One, two, three. Attach them to the long spine board, and then I will take my baseline vitals. At this time, EMT number two, we do not need you to hold up. And my stabilization since the long spine board is holding a four hips. Roll up the sleeve of the patient. And Go ahead and get my blood pressure. After I've gotten my blood pressure, I move on and check my pulse. I'm going to assess the rate of the body again. Okay. And I check my respiration. Just test the rate rhythm and quality of my respirations. I check my my patient's pupils for pearl. And go ahead and assess the CCT. Color condition and temperature. One more time. Centers uh, about a sample history, and, and we have moved him onto a long spot board. Uh, we move him into the ambulance, and uh, once into the ambulance, perform a detailed physical assessment. And I perform decap BTOS on the head, uh, looking in his eyes for any blood, any cerebral spinal fluid used. The nerves, opening his mouth, making sure that there are teeth broken off, nothing is obstructing his airway, and that there's no blood. I check his neck again, make sure, check his midline, and there's no JVD. I reassess the chest, looking for anything on the on the uh, thorax, listening to voice, uh, listening to equal uh, breath sounds, and making sure that they are present on performing decap BTOS, decap BTOS, decap BTOS. Move on to the abdomen, decap BTOS, decap BTOS, decap BTOS, decap BTOS. Check it for turret also. Move on to the pelvic, decap BTOS, decap BTOS, and take. And moving down to the bone extremities, decap BTOS. Can you push? Can you pull? Can you feel? Do you have pulse? Decap BTOS. Decap BTS. Can you push? Can you pull? Can you feel? And do I have a pulse? Decap BTS in the arms. Check your pulse. Do I have a pulse? Can you squeeze? And can you feel? Decap BTS. Decap BTS. Do you have a pulse? Can you squeeze? Can you feel? And then I would check his posterior side. Sliding my hands underneath. The patient checking. Do you have BTOS and any echo bleeding or incontinence? Then I would treat all secondary, <coughs> I treat all secondary wounds and repeat my vital signs every five minutes as needed. Sergeant, at this time I'm 